A few weeks later, thanks to Bernadotte, 60 trains containing 3,960 prisoners, mostly Polish women, were allowed to leave Ravensbrück for Denmark and Sweden. Over 20,000 women were left behind in the camp. In late April, the SS guards with dogs forced these remaining prisoners on death marches. They left the camp in groups heading northwest. The sound of gunfire as they approached the front line caused widespread panic. Many women managed to escape. Others were shot indiscriminately by the SS even at this late stage. Thousands of dead and injured lined the route. Some of the escapees made it home, but the majority returned to the camp and were eventually liberated by the Red Army on the 30th of April. The war crime trials that were held in the aftermath of war before the International Military Tribunal in Nuremberg began to reveal the full scale of horror and atrocities committed by the Germans. At the tribunal on the 25th of October 1946, members of the medical profession of the Third Reich were put on trial. They were accused of medical crimes against humanity. Among those who stood accused were Karl Gebhardt, Fritz Fischer and Hertha Oberhauser and others from Ravensbrück camp. The victims had not forgotten the faces of their oppressors. Karl Gebhardt was condemned to death. Other members of his medical team were given prison sentences and were released in 1954. After her release, Hertha Oberhauser even managed to set up in practice as a doctor in Schleswig-Holstein. The first Ravensbrück trial was heard on the 5th of December 1946 before the British military courts. Other SS doctors, warders, staff and prisoners who collaborated with the SS were put on trial. Eleven of the defendants were sentenced to death. Subsequent trials were heard up to May 1948. Only very few of those responsible were ultimately called to account. The deaths and suffering of many thousands of victims remain unpunished to this day. The National Memorial to Ravensbrück was officially unveiled in 1959. In 1993, the Brandenburg Memorial Foundation was set up, dedicated to compiling a history of the camp and the lives of the prisoners. The memorial designed by Ville Lammert rises high above the old campsite. It reminds all future generations of the fate of the women of Ravensbrück concentration camp.